you guys. I just got back home from getting kicked out of a cemetery. This is the first time something like this has ever happened to me. And if you follow me on social media, you know that I go to a lot of cemeteries. Okay, okay, okay. Let me tell you guys what happened. Tell you, let me tell you. This is what happened. I was having a nice morning. I called my BFF. We decided to go to Williamsburg, Brooklyn. That is a place if you live in New York City, it's like a central hub hangout spot. They have a lot of good restaurants, bars, stores. So we went to Sephora, we went to get lunch, we went to get food for later on tonight. So we have some, we went to get drinks and on the way back home, we're like, let's stop at the cemetery. Okay, because there is a really big cemetery on the drive home from Williamsburg to where I live live in Queens, New York, and that cemetery is called Calvary Cemetery. So if you follow me on social media, which you should be, at Creepy History Class on Instagram and on TikTok, you would know that I went to Calvary Cemetery around two weeks ago. I went to see the Godfather filming locations, the Don Corleone funeral filming locations at Calvary Cemetery, and then I went to see a few mob graves there as well. Those videos are posted. When I posted those videos, a few people had messaged me telling me about about a haunted mausoleum there that I did not see. And they're like, why didn't you visit the haunted mausoleum there? And I was like, what haunted mausoleum? And then they told me it was called like Lovejoy. I guess the last name is Lovejoy. And I started hearing all these creepy stories in particular from this one woman that lives in the area of Calvary Cemetery and says that basically people get sucked into the mausoleum or something like that. Okay, so this mausoleum is one where there's actually like steps going down you'll see the video here. So there's like little steps going down, but then there's like a big tower tomb on top of it or something like that. I don't know. I haven't really seen mausoleums like that in particular. So this woman said that her daughters went down the steps and slipped and got sucked into the mausoleum and the door closed behind them basically. And there's some rumors behind this mausoleum that if you look into the stained glass window, the door just pops open and you could walk right in or get dragged right in, whatever the case may be. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry if I'm out of breath. I just literally ran home and I'm like, I'm gonna do a video real quick because yeah, with my friend, it's girly hangout day, yes it is. But no, seriously, it was weird when we went there, it was given a little bit of a creepy vibe. I mean, we're lucky we found it because if you don't know, Calvary Cemetery is the largest cemetery in the US. I've said that in my videos before and I believe some people have tried to correct me, although Google says I'm right. I'm not really sure what's going on there. I think the disconnect is that people are thinking in terms of actual acreage and what I'm saying, what Google is saying, this has the most graves. I believe there's over 3 million graves at this point in Calvary Cemetery. And with that being said, it's nice that I was able to find this mausoleum so fast because there's a lot of graves there. But in all fairness, the people I have talked to online in particular, the one lady, they gave me very accurate directions. So I'm thinking I've filmed tons and tons in the cemetery. I was even gonna do this little skit there, whatever. It didn't happen because we got kicked out. But yeah, I filmed tons of places and a lot of cemeteries are places where people just take strolls and take walks and not just go visit their loved ones. You know, film educational videos. They do wildlife photography there too. If you don't know, cemeteries are great places to get wildlife photography done. There are a lot of birds that live there, squirrels, depending on if your cemetery has ponds or not or lakes or rivers, a lot of wildlife over there too, because in general, cemeteries are low volume, low human traffic areas, which makes it very desirable to the animals, to wildlife. We did see a hawk today when we were in the cemetery, but we did not get to film it. He flew so low right by the car door on the driver's side, my friend was driving. It, it was a great sight to see. He was huge, so I'm guessing he lives there at the cemetery. But no, in general, cemeteries, the people that work in cemeteries are very friendly to this type of population of people that go visit. I know there's one cemetery in Brooklyn, New York called Greenwood, which is basically a huge tourist attraction. And they have everything there. They have art classes there. They have, you know, you, you go there, you be respectful, but they have a lot to see. 
especially in cemeteries like Greenwood. There are benches by the water there. There are public restrooms and beautiful buildings there. The gates are huge. They're amazing. If you haven't been there and you live in New York City, you should definitely check out Greenwood Cemetery. And it's not a new thing. It's been a tourist attraction for many, many, many years. Anyways, back to my story because I'm getting distracted here. I'm a distracted girl, but I'm a hyper girl because I drink a lot of matcha today. That's right. I drink so much matcha. And if you don't know me, I cannot drink that much caffeine but it was actually a good vibe I'm on like a caffeine overdose vibe vibe but in a good way but in a good way so we get to this love joy mausoleum we drive a little further stop get out and walk back because we don't want the car to be in the video that we're taking in the shots thinking back I don't even think I got pictures of the place to be honest but I'm lucky I even had enough time to film because as soon as we were filming just a little bit the security guy came out of nowhere but okay so again there start filming I walk down the steps and what I notice is that the door is different than what people had described to me because they said that the door had was a door with some stained glass window but the mausoleums next to it did have that again I was not able to film that because we were kicked out by that point so I'm lucky to get the footage that I even got that I have the footage that I even got you know what I'm saying so when I got there naturally I go down the stairs and there's like a bag of Doritos there so I'm guessing this is like like a hangout spot for teens or something. I don't know who's eating Doritos in the cemetery unless you're hanging out there. Like, come on. Unless your loved one loved Doritos and you were bringing that to their grave, that might be a situation. I don't know. The bag, the bag was empty though. You wouldn't just bring the bag, right? You would make sure the Doritos are still in there. Anyways, so I go down the stairs like you're supposed to do, I guess, to experience whatever's supposed to happen. And I hear creaking coming from the inside. I'm not kidding. And I'm going to post the video. And I don't know with all the like, you hear my footsteps and the crackling of the leaves. So I don't know if you could actually hear like the little creaking that was actually coming from the inside, but it's there in the video. I kind of felt it, felt it, heard it. I kind of heard it better in person, which was weird and it got me intrigued so I could imagine if the door was like the other doors because what I was saying is the other doors have like these stained glass mausoleum door looking things where this one, when I got downstairs, it was like a marble door or like a slab of stone door. And then it has that like a little wire and a lock. Honestly, it doesn't look like it would hold anything. Like if I felt like if I would have pushed that door, just, just tapped it, it would have just went flying open. And I'm not like that. I don't disturb the dead. I don't disturb private property, you know? I do this for social media and I realize I can't be putting that kind of message out there. I can't be putting that kind of message that it's okay to go places and disturb places. So I don't do that. We don't do that here on my channel. So, okay, I filmed that. I come back out because I'm about to film some more from the outside, go back again. I redo a lot of stuff when I film, you know? It's not like a first shot. Like it's rarely gotten on the first shot. Like we gotta redo stuff a few times. So so I want to redo stuff. I'm ready. And then we see the car coming by and it says something secure. What did it say on it? Something security. I don't know. Cemetery security. I'm sure that's not what it said, but he's like, oh, is this yours? This I'm mine? What? Yeah. yeah. My friend's correcting me. He said, are you guys the owners? Like the owners of what? The whole thing? You think we own the whole thing? I don't live in there, that's for sure. I mean, is this the real estate situation? I'm confused. Listen, it got weird really fast because what am I supposed to say? I'm like, no. And he's like, what are you doing here? And the fact that we had just gotten there means A, he was following us. B, they probably keep an eye on this area because like I said, I've even filmed in this cemetery a couple of times and I have never gotten stopped and security has passed by me. So I guess this is a place they keep an eye out because maybe some teens are hanging out there. Maybe this rumor is going around. Maybe, you know, haunted rumors. But it's weird because I did not find one thing about this online when I read 
research like is this place haunted lovejoy mausoleum haunted nothing 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 but apparently a lot of people know about this place evidence the bag of doritos i'm kidding i don't know i feel like it might have really been evidence no but the guy so i tell the guy i'm actually here filming and he's like you're what i'm like i'm here filming and he's like, you can't do that here, leave. And then he's like, oh, well, I'm gonna have to escort you out. So basically we get in the car and he drives behind us till we're escorted out of the cemetery. And my friend was like, oh, we could go back, we could go back. But at that point, I didn't wanna make any trouble. Like I was, I was kind of over it. I got the footage I got, which I will be showing you. And if you're interested to see videos I made from the footage, those will be on my TikTok and Instagram at creepyhistoryclass.com. Okay, so when I got out of the cemetery too, I called one of the ladies that had told me about this place because I messaged her like, oh, I just got kicked out of the cemetery. I went to the site she requested and she was like, oh, call me. So I called her and we chit chatted about it because this is the woman who her daughters had went through the experience and maybe that's why it was sealed off. I'm not saying maybe because of her, but maybe because of people going through that experience that her daughters went through. Creepy stuff if that happens to you i'm sure you would be freaked out like and those stairs are steep so i can imagine add a little bit of an icy situation in there and psh, you're down those stairs but then the question is you're down the stairs but how do you get in the mausoleum especially it had a different door before so i feel like the door should be able to hold withstand a little bit of pressure but maybe not and the story is that they went in the mausoleum and the door locked again and now I see that it's sealed by some other stone, which doesn't look too new, but it might be. I don't know how this stuff weathers of, or if it was a weathered stone to begin with. Stone wall panel, something that they put there to begin with because it does look a little aged. I'm not sure though. So then, then me and my friend went to get pedicures. Okay, no, but while I was getting a pedicure before I got home, I was researching who this Lovejoy is because apparently anyone who's told me this place is haunted no one even knows why. So I started to research and I found one of the guys, like there's a few names on the mausoleum and one of them is named Stefan Lovejoy, the Lovejoy Mausoleum. And he passed on December 1st of 1893. There are other names on the mausoleum, Patrick and Margaret, that passed in 1860 and 1875, but there's no information that I could find about them. But Stefan, I found information about him. And Stefan's date of birth is unknown. So they don't even have that information. Was it unknown on the fucking grave too? Hold on, let me check. And apparently the other two people in the mausoleum, Patrick and Margaret, those were his parents. And that you can see on the grave, like on the grave site. But Stefan's and his father's date of births are unknown. Although it does say on the grave site that Stefan was 53 years old when he passed. So I got to looking for Stefan Lovejoy and I was able to find an obituary. This is where it gets weird. Am I a hundred? 100% sure this is his obituary. I'm pretty sure and I'm gonna tell you why. The name is the same and it was posted in the New York Daily Tribune on December 4th of 1893. Remember Stefan Lovejoy passed away on December 1st of 1983. So that would make sense. Am I right? And it said he was a wealthy retired merchant of this city, New York City. So I'm guessing Manhattan in particular because New York City was really just Manhattan at that point. Like it definitely meant just Manhattan. But if you don't know, there's not a lot of cemeteries in Manhattan in the Big Apple Apple. Like there's not a lot of cemeteries there. So people are usually buried outside of Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn, so on and so forth. So it would make sense. It's all making sense. And it would make sense he was wealthy and I believe he erected this mausoleum for his parents. Have to have money to have a beautiful mausoleum like that. So you're thinking, what's creepy? I'll tell you what's creepy. He passed away at the age of 53 in his home on 2013 Madison Avenue in Manhattan. Fancy, fancy area. I'm sure it was fancy back then too. But it's the manner of his death. He fell down the 
stairs. So it says that he fell down the stairs, but it also said that he was alive when they got to him the next day. I guess he lived with his sister, with his married sister, Mrs. Mary Johnston. And she had went out. They had Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, Thanksgiving. And she had went out and he stayed home. He was a bachelor. He was unmarried. And he fell down the stairs to the cellar, to his basement. And he was there for quite some time until she returned the next day. And then they tried to, he was conscious still, but suffering from his injuries when they found him. So his cause of death was that he fractured his skull when he fell down the stairs. And foul play was not suspected. Although, you know, never know. I mean, you never know. You never know. And basically it's weird because this whole thing about the mausoleum steps and being dragged down the steps and him passing away by falling down the steps to his basement. I mean, it's weird. There's a little similarity there. It does say Thanksgiving, which on his grave is actually December 1st, but I don't know how long it took him to actually pass away from his injuries because that was posted on December 4th in the paper as an obituary. So so it would have been a little too late to post someone passing away from Thanksgiving or I'm not sure. It's just a few days after. I don't know. I still think it's him, basically. What else am I missing? It said he was in the junk business also and his estate was valued at $3 million when he passed away. $3 million in those times, that's probably like 10 million or 20 million now or more. I don't know. It's a lot. It said he was born in Cork, Ireland, and it said he invested in real estate and cotton speculation. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that means. Is that like predicting future cotton prices? Because that's all I saw when I was trying to Google it. I'm not sure. Don't take my word for it. But anyways, yeah, so it's creepy. Have you ever heard about this place before? If you live in Queens, especially like if you live in Queens, New York or New York City in general, let me know if you've heard about this mausoleum. Lovejoy Mausoleum in Calvary Cemetery in Queens, New York. And if you've heard about it, comment down below what you heard about that place. Comment down below. Let me know what you've heard about this place and let me know if you've experienced anything or if anyone you know has experienced anything at that mausoleum or anywhere else in Calvary Cemetery for that matter. We're here to listen. Okay, bye guys. Bye, 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 bye.